What's going on guys, Louis here. Um, this will be the first of a series of tutorials on HyperMesh. Today we're going to be doing um, HM1000 getting started with HyperMesh and HM1010 opening and saving files. So let's get down to it. Um, here we have the GUI. Uh, at the top is the title bar containing the name of your mo of our model, which is currently untitled. Um, just below is the menu bar, which has a drop-down list for each one of these functionalities. We have the toolbars over here, which we can use to open, save our model, open a new model, change the display, and things like that. In the tab area is the model tab um, with this white space that will hold our model tree. Um, here we have the graphics area where you can see your model and interact with it. Um, just beside are these basically visualization toolbars. And here in the right side, uh, we have the main menu pages for one, geometry, 1D, 2D, 3D element analysis, tools, and post-processing. Right beside are the pages, uh, actually the panels available for each page. Um, and if we pull this up, we can see the command window to use line commands, but we're not going to do that uh, right now, so I'll just pull this back down. Just below is the status bar, which will show you things like what you have just done, what you have selected, and things like that. And just for you, to get, for you guys to know, all of these tutorials we're going to be covering in this channel, you can find um, going to the help in the menu bar, and then click on HyperWorks Help Home. Uh, this will open a internet site where you can find these tutorials and other tutorials on basically all of our chair softwares. Also the files for these tutorials can be found at the Altair University site and I'll leave a link to it in the description. Now moving on to how to open, save and import files. Uh, let's open a model. We go to File, Open, Model. We're going to open the bumper underline send underline mid one dot hm file hm is the file format for your hypermesh files and there is our model at the tree tab we see that it has two components center and mid one and each one of them is composed of a geometry and a mesh as indicated by this icon um, we can turn the mesh on and off by clicking on the icon and we can also do that with the geometry. In this case, the geometry is in the wireframe mode. Um, that's going to be useful when dealing with our model later on. Uh, for now, you can also change the color of each component, and that changes the color of both the geometry and the mesh. If we want to import another model on top of this one that we got here, we can go to File, Import, Model. Um, we're going to import the bumper underline mid HM file. And now we have three components in our model tree. Notice that if, if we had opened the file instead of importing it, it would have discarded our first model and we would have just the mid two component. Um, we can also import geometry files. To do that, go to File, Import, Geometry, and select, for this case, the bumper underline n.igs file and import the n geometry of our bumper. So the component imported, as you can see, does not have a mesh because it came from a geometry file. Now we're going to import an obstruct input file. To do that, go back to File, Import, and click on Solver DAG. Select the bumper underline n underline rgd.pem file and import. 
We now have our mesh for the bumper end, but we also have imported some duplicate components like the center.1, mid1.1, and mid2.1 that we already previously had. So we can select all of them by holding the control key, then right click and delete them. Finally, we are ready to save our work. So we go to File, Save As, Model, and choose the folder to save it. Um, we could also try to export the geometry file to use it in other projects. To do that, just go to File, Export, Geometry. And all of these operations that we have performed here um, could have done using this toolbar to open, save, import, and export files. So this was it for today, guys. I know it was really, really simple, but we can't get to the advanced stuff without knowing the simple things before, right? So this is it. Um, I'll see you in the next one.